Hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class. Is chemistry all right? And of course, this we're, we're entering into another topic of chemistry. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, acid bases and salts. So uh, in the next episodes, I'm going to be discussing acid bases and salts. And once we are done with the topic, we will let you know before we enter another topic. All right, so you have to follow us through carefully. You have to follow the episode carefully and also follow all other topics episode because every topic in chemistry is a build up to the next, right? So jumping topics will not really help you that much. All right, so let's head back to what we have having today and it's acids, bases, and salts. For many people, this is a very, very interesting topic. A lot of students say, ah, this is my best topic in chemistry is acid base and salt. Maybe because it's very easy. I don't know, right? But of course, we we'll get to calculations in pH. We we'll do calculations in pH and so on. How to calculate pH and pOH in this topic also, right? That is that is uh, other episode to come. Anyway, so what are acids, bases, and salts? But before we continue, know that this video tutorial is brought to you by the old Telescope Jump app. It is being currently displayed on the screen right now. It is the best CBT practice app that you need to succeed in your jam. All right. So um, currently, uh, well, it is being activated for two thousand five hundred naira, but it's going up to three thousand naira for activation fee. Being that a lot of things have gone up, production cost uh, has gone up, right? Hosting cost has gone up. So. Please, the app will be going for 3,000 naira as from now. All right, so please make sure you get the app. It's, it's just to aid, it's to aid your success in the exam, right? So imagine just giving 3,000 naira to pass your exam, to study, to pass your exam. Right? A lot of people will say it's a very big money, it's very, very big. Goal. But, well, it's your choice. It's your choice. Please get the app. It has all the past questions you need for the exam. It has wonderful features. There's a, there's a CBT challenge that you partake in. You see your score every week. You win prizes, you see your score, you improve on yourself, you know your weak areas, and you keep on improving until your exam day. So if you can be able to partake in all these challenges that we do on this app, you will see that in the long run, man, <laughs> you are good to go. So let's see what acid bases and salts are. All right? So there are so many definitions that exist for what acid bases and salts. Many definitions exist for acid bases and salts. We have definitions from Vante. Arrhenius, right? We have definition from Johannes Brownstead, uh, Brownstead, and Thomas Lowry. Thomas Lowry. All right. We also have another definition by Gilbert. And Lewis. All right, so I'm going to be looking at these definitions one after the other. The definition by Svante and Reynolds, one by Johannes Brownstead and Thomas Lowry, and then we have another one by Gilbert and Lewis. Right. So let's. But in this video, in this episode of chemistry, we are going to be looking at only Svante and Reynolds what acids. All right. So we we'll see their definitions and we we'll see their examples, and then we are fully abreast of how. Uh, or what Svante Arenos acids are. So, without uh, taking more time, let's head to it. All right. So, uh, Svante Arenos. Oh, I shouldn't have pinned that. So, let's see the definition by Svante Arenos. Arenos defined an acid as a substance that flourishes hydrogen ion as the only positive ion when dissolved in water. Right. Arenos defined an acid as a substance. Which flourishes hydrogen ion, right? Which gives hydrogen ion, which produces hydrogen ion, which flourishes hydrogen ion as the only positive ion when dissolved in water. This means, or what does this mean, right? This means that what? When an ionic acid, when an acid, let's say for example, HA, let's say the acid is HA, when an acid, example, HA, Right, dissociates in water. Right, it will give you what? It will give us what? Hydrogen ion. Right, which is called it's called a proton. The hydrogen ion is also called what? A proton. 
It's hydrogen ion or what a proton. So when an acid, for example, HA, dissolves or dissociates in water, it will give us what hydrogen ion or proton and another ion, another ion, which is what? Which is negative. Right? So now when an acid, for example, HA dissociates in water, it will give us hydrogen ion. Note carefully. It will produce hydrogen ion or it will flourish hydrogen ion, right? And another ion, which is what? Negative. This, the negative part of the ion is called the anionic part of the what? Of the acid. Anionic part. All right? From anion. All right? So, let's see. The dissociation of HA is what we have seen here. These two will give us what? H positive plus what? A minus. Where this A minus is the what? Is the anionic part. Right? Why this H positive is what? Of course, is the proton. Is the proton or the hydrogen ion that is what that is produced right so when an acid dissociates or dissolves in water it gives us what hydrogen ion and what and another ion which is what usually what negative this negative ion this a minus we are seeing here for example if ha is an acid right this hydrogen this negative ion is called the anionic part of the water of the acid all right let's head on okay so i haven't seen this now Right, I will send this. Then, what do you need to know next? If you have an acid, an actual acid, well, we have actual acid like HCl, like H2SO4, like HNO3. Right, let's now see the, 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 the way they dissolve in water. So, when you have an acid, for example, like HCl, when it dissociates in water, HCl, when this one dissociates in water, we are going to have what hydrogen ion, right? Positive ion, then plus what? This is the anionic part. The Cl what minus yet. So when an acid like HCl dissolves in water, give hydrogen ion plus what plus HCl. What about when an acid like H2SO4 dissociates in water? When dissociating water, I'm going to have what H plus also plus what SO4 2 minus. Right? The charge on SO4 is what is two. It's negative two. All right. So now, but of course, this equation is not balanced, is it? There are two hydrogen what atoms here but yes just one so of course i want to balance here uh, yeah, to be two right so it's non balance what about if hno3 for example dissociates in water right if it dissociates in water i want to have h plus then plus what no3 no what three what minus all right so this is what happens what when an acid dissolves in what in water this is this is how they dissolve and this is uh, what, what they give so it gives us what a proton or the hydrogen ion and then another ion which is negative so this ones they are the anionic part of this what acids this ones they are the anionic part of this what of this acid, of this acid that you are seeing so i have known this also it is important to know that what that the hydrogen ion that is usually produced by these acids usually have great affinity for the water molecules the hydrogen ion that is being produced, that is this H+, plus, this 2H+, plus, and this H+, plus here, they usually have what? High affinity or great affinity for what? For the water molecules. And as such, because they have this affinity for the water molecules, because of that, these hydrogen ions or these protons, right? These protons, right? Pick up a water molecule in coordinate covalent bonding. We have done, talk, talked about bonding before. In coordinate covalent bonding to give what another type of what ion. All right, so let's see what happens there. So the proton H plus H plus now, then we react to what with we dissolve in what in water. So when once this happens, when this proton dissolves in water, what it gives us is H3O plus. All right, so this H3O plus is what we call hydrosomium ion, right? So when a proton, like hydrogen proton, like this H plus, dissolves in water, what it gives us is what is hydrosomium ion. Hydrosomium ion, what is formed? This H plus, of course, is still the proton or the hydrogen ion, and this H3O plus now is called the hydrosomium what ion. All right. So this is what happens when what when uh, a proton dissolves in water. Hydrogenium ion what is formed. Now, I've known that also it means that what we can now redefine 
Aenos was acids, right? We cannot really define Aenos acids. The first definition we gave was a what? An, an, an Aenos acid, um, Aenos rather, define an acid as a substance that flourishes or that produces or that gives or that produces what? Hydrogen ion as the only positive ion when dissolved in water. Now, because what? Those uh, protons, this hydrogen ion, the protons, once, because they have great affinity for water, once they work, go into coordinate covalent bonding with those water molecules, right? When they dissolve in water, they give hydrozonum ion, then we can now define arenous acids. Arenous acids are what? The arenous acid, or arenous can define, can, um, acid can be redefined as a substance that what flourishes what? Hydrozonium ion. In this case, so it's called like this, hydrozonium. All right? So we can now define arenous acids. As what as a substance that flourishes hydrozonium ion when dissolved in what in water, right? So this knowledge alone is sufficient enough for you to know what the, uh, to, to know about what ionos what acids, right? So ionos acids uh, uh, ionos define an acid as a substance that produces or what flourishes hydrogen ion as the only positive ion when dissolved in water. You also what define an acid as a substance that flourishes hydrozonium ion. When dissolved in water, in water, so those are the two definitions given by arenous arenous acids. This is arenous, right? Given by Svante arenous for what for acids. Now let's look at bases. Arenous was bases. Now what are arenous bases? Arenous bases. Uh, arenous define what a base rather as a substance that flourishes hydroxyl ion. That flourishes hydrozyl ion. This is hydrozyl, right? Aenos what uh, define a base? It define a base as a substance that flourishes hydrozyl ion as the only negative ion, as the only negative ion when dissolved in water, right? So hydrozyl ion that produces hydrozyl ion as the only negative ion when dissolved in water. This is what. O H what minus. This means that what bases usually have O H in their formula. That's what it just simply means, right? So I know divide what a base and a substance that flourishes or that produces hydrogen ion as the only negative ion when dissolved in water. And of course, this means that what bases usually have O H in their formula. Now let's see some examples of uh, some bases and what and how they dissociate in water. For example, if you have um. KOH, potassium hydroxide, right? If it dissolves in water, I'm going to have K plus, then plus OH minus, right? This is one. What about if NOH, sodium hydroxide, very popular base, right? If it dissolves in water, we're going to see uses of all these bases soon. I'm going to see uses of these bases and use of some of these acids. You need to know them because they are very, very common in exam conditions, right? So before I continue, please. Make sure you, have, you give this video a like. Give it a like. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so that I can get updates or get notification once we release any video so that I can follow us progressively. All right? And do not forget to share this video also. Now, NOH, once it dissolves in water, I'm going to have Na is positive, then plus what? OH what? Minus. All right? So now let's see another base, uh, CaOH2. Once this one dissolves in water, I'm going to have Ca2 plus. Right, the charge on it is two plus then plus what O H what minus right. But of course, if you see this last equation is not balanced because there, there are two atoms of what O H here. Right here, yeah, just one. So you need to balance it up to two. All right, so it's now balanced. So these are examples of what of what of ionos or bases. And of course, to know ionos bases is not difficult at all. Ionos bases are easy to what to know because they usually have what. O H in the formula. O H in the formula. They usually have O H in the formula, so they are easy to identify. All right. So what have we seen in this topic? That is, of, of course, for Zante ionos. We have seen that what ionos define an acid as something that flourishes hydrogen ion as only positive ion when dissolved in water. And then, of course, because we say just those protons usually have affinity for the water molecules. Because of that, they go into coordinate covalent bonding with those water molecules, and then they form what. Hydro, hydrozonium what ion that means what when 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 h this proton re, uh, dissolves in what in water h2o give us what h3o 
plus. And so because of this, we say that what uh, ionic acid can be defined as substances that what that flourish what hydrozonium ion when dissolved in water. Now I've seen examples of ionic was bases, and we say that ionic bases are easy to identify because they usually have OH in their formula. Well, this is where we're going to end today's class on definition of what of acid base and salt by Svante Ainos. Svante Ainos. Alright, so do not forget to, to share this video, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next class. Thanks for watching.